to some degree. It's hard to say how much Ornette Coleman's jazz playing directly influenced Ian, but um, I think just his choice of musical styles and um, his uh, his enthusiasm for experimentation um, was a big influence. And um, not unlike Frank Zappa, also kind of an influence that way. Possibly, I don't know. I don't know Zappa well enough, but maybe Zappa was also influenced by some of that. And here is a picture of Warnett Coleman later in life. And we're going to have a quick listen to a little greedy jazz. Okay, for some of you, you're probably saying that was enough. Uh, I'm I'm very happy to admit I don't really understand jazz at all. My only interest in jazz really is when it meets other forms like the blues, uh, jazz rock, or jazz folk. Like Another influence on Ian, perhaps not as well. I, I shouldn't say that. I don't know how strong it was it was Charlie Parker who I believe he met uh, quickly in, um, at one of the jazz festivals or something like that. And um, these are some of the things, some of the people, some of the styles of music that Ian was listening to. Along so if you've never heard Charlie Parker before, here's a quick listen. Charlie Parker. Each one of these influences, you know, it's kind of like a melting pot. They just kind of, they kind of mix together and um, every artist is going to take little bits of this, little bits of that. The same way people make chili or chicken cordon bleu. Um, every person's version is going to be a little bit different, a little bit different spice. Now, let's take a look at someone who is arguably a pretty big influence on Ian. Although, as he tells it, he was sort of playing in the style of Roland Kirk already. Just by way of the way he picked up the flute, scat singing, singing into the flute, much like Roland Kirk does. So if you've never seen Roland Kirk, by the way, Roland Kirk is blind. I think he was blinded at about the year of two. He plays uh, saxophone, flute, all types of saxophone. Sapronino, soprano, alto. Um, he plays different types of flutes. And he's known for playing multiple reed instruments, saxophones particularly, uh, at the same time. Actually having two instruments sticking out of his mouth, playing each one with one hand. And uh, it's pretty impressive. But if you think that's impressive, wait till you see him stick a rubber hose, I kid you not, in his nose and proceed to play three instruments at the same time. He's actually blowing out into two reed instruments from his mouth and then blowing out from his nose, sounds a little gross, uh, into a third instrument. And we're going to check out his version right now of Serenade to a Cuckoo, which Ian says is one of the first real songs he learned to play on the flute. And um, I think I've heard him say that it's not particularly difficult to pick out the notes, but I don't think it's an easy song to play, personally. Thank you. 
Look at all the instruments he's got hanging off of him. The guy was a genius. You're gonna either love this or hate it. Now, a special treat, hopefully. Let's take a look at Ian Anderson doing Serenade to a Cuckoo in his own way. And we just did our quick look, at least at this was, and heard the early version. So I thought it would be cool to see Ian later in life doing a more mature version. This is from 1984, live at the Capitol Theater in Passaic, New Jersey. This was one crazy show. I should know. I was there in the ninth row. I think it was the ninth row. Uh, it was filmed by MTV. That's what this comes from. It's part of their uh, progressive rock uh, series, which included interviews with Ian Anderson, Frank Zappa, um, Steve Howe, I think, and maybe Chris Squire, I, I think, and uh, a, lot, a lot of stuff. Anyway, this is Ian at the Under Wraps live concert in 1984. Now, some of you that don't like under wraps are going to probably say to yourself, oh, this is going to sound terrible. It's probably electronic fluid or something. Not at all. The under wraps concert uh, had some electronic music moments in it, to be sure. But um, other than that, it was a heavy toll concert. It was almost as if Martin Barr said, you know what? We're going to crank it up a little bit to make sure we're heard over the keyboards. And he was. He was in top form. So this is toll from, I think, the day before Halloween. I think it was like October 30th, 1984. Capitol Theater, Passaic, New Jersey, which has since, I believe, burned down. No connection, as far as I know.
So that was Ian in 1984 doing Serenade to a Cuckoo. I was at that show. Unfortunately, I was not close enough to get some champagne. Longtime Toll fans might notice that uh, professional, once professionally famous uh, drinker Dave Pegg was eyeing the champagne, but was not allowed to grab any. Uh, probably just as well. He probably came premedicated. Dave Pegg is an awesome bass player and a great mid limb player and a very good guitar player, too. I've had the uh, pleasure to meet him a few times, and uh, he's a really nice guy. Yeah, he's a very smart dude. If you would like musician. to learn a little bit more about Roland Kirk, or perhaps quite a bit more, you could do worse than to check out Dr. Marigo's YouTube channel. Uh, he has a great video about Roland Kirk. And as he says... Roland Kirk was one of the greatest jazz musicians of all time. And I tend to agree. Thanks for joining me for this uh, cool part one look at the influences of Ian Anderson. And stay tuned in the not too distant future for part two, which will be more about acoustic guitar. Our co-host, also conveniently named Mike, will be joining me for our look at Stand Up. The second Chuck Tall album, Stand Up. And a couple weeks after that, we will be looking at Benefit. In between, we'll have hopefully a few more bonus episodes if we get to them. We have a lot of okay, fun so stuff So thanks planned. for joining me for this bonus episode on the Broadsword File. And don't forget, you can find us on YouTube on the Broadsword File, which is kind of silly mentioning that because that's probably where you're watching this. Whatever I can say at the end. I can't think of anything. Nope, still can't think of anything. Oh, like and subscribe.